Hey guys, quick update for the recent March update. So, uh, still good to go. Um, pretty much same exact process here. So, let me show you the uptime. This is on a uh, Pixel Fold, and we're running the March 5 update of 15. Okay, so no issues. I'm going to do a quick reset on this just so you see that it's locked, and then we'll begin the unlock process. Okay, so I'll skip through here real quick and try and do a test call and this should relock on us pretty quick here. Just trying to get it to relock real quick. Okay, there we go. So, just relocked. This one is locked to Verizon. And what we're going to do is pop the SIM card out. And we'll leave it out for now. I'll let you know when we're going to put it back in. So let's go ahead and do another factory reset. Okay, so after we have reset, let's just skip through offline. Do not connect to any Wi-Fi yet. And then SIM card is still out, of course. Let's just go into apps and click up top to show system and just type in set and then go to device setup and go to Wi-Fi data usage and just turn it off. And then this has been grayed out, um, still works, no problem, even though this is grayed out and you can't do a four stop here, it'll just say blocked by admin, so no worries there. And now let's just turn on developer options. Because we're going to plug into the computer. And then while you're in here, um, you might as well turn off the um, auto updates. So just go ahead and turn that off and then click for USB debugging. And let's plug into the computer and hopefully we get the prompt right away to make this easier. There it is. Okay, so what you wanna do is just click allow. Oops. So I clicked off of that. Now we're gonna have Glad I actually <laughs> I did that. So I'll show you how to uh, get the pop up again. I'm going to focus real quick on the computer. Okay, so we're still plugged in um, over here, and we're going to go to techie.com, t-e-q-q-e-e.com, and then go to more, and go to ADB, 
and go ahead and just download minimal ADB. You're gonna get it pop up real quick here. Go ahead and open it. Do an extract all. And then just go ahead and open it. Just kind of breeze through that. Go ahead and launch. Okay, so now we're going to need the phone screen on and then just do an ADB devices. Now this one should be offline because I didn't hit the... Um, so now we get the pop-up again. Click always and allow. And you see how we're showing offline here? Let's do ADB devices again. And now it recognizes it. Okay, so um, you need to get to a point where your device is recognized by ADB in order to input the commands. And let me just pull up my notes. And these are gonna be um, in the description. Okay, so same commands, there's five of them. You just want to copy and paste. That's one. That's two. Three, that's four, and last one. That's five, okay, so now we're unlocked. Let me focus back on the phone real quick. Okay, so I haven't put the SIM card back in yet. Um, what we're going to do is just turn on the internet. Let me just pop onto my Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, so once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, Go back into apps, go to sh show system, and then just type in set again. Okay. So what you wanna do, if this did not turn back on, you wanna turn it back on and then just disconnect it again for Wi-Fi. And then now, so again, you, you turn uh, Wi-Fi data usage, turn it on, turn it off. Now you can pop back in your SIM card and you're gonna be good to go. off the Wi-Fi so you can see all features are working here this is on T-Mobile now Mobile. okay so you see that's working um, the reason why I showed you the up usage on this device prior to resetting it and showing you that it's locked it's just so we don't have to stay here for too long after we've unlocked it. So you're good to go. Again, this is running the latest uh, March update. Fifteen, and just to show you in here, so still the same thing. We're we're not. Um, 
this did not enable OEM unlocking, but uh, we are network unlocked, so you can use any SIM, no issues. You can use eSIM, physical SIM, whatever you want, but um, still great out for the OEM unlocking. Um, hope that helps, guys. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.